Sometimes referred to as the capital of the South, Atlanta is an incredible American city and is arguably the most important city in the Southeast. In this video series, I talk about a city's history, population, skyline, as well as a few things that make the city unique. There is a lot to cover with Atlanta, so I have a special guest who some of you may recognize to help me out later in this video. Now, let's meet Atlanta. I always like to start by exploring how city wound up being where it is today. Atlanta's history is interesting because unlike other cities that were already established and then grew due to railroads going through them, the only reason Atlanta even exists is because of the railroad. In 1836, it was decided that the southern terminus of the Western Atlantic Railroad should be located in the foothills of the southern portion of the Appalachian Mountains. A settlement was then developed around the end of the railroad and was aptly named Terminus. Over the next decade, the settlement went through several name changes before being renamed Atlanta, which is the feminine form of Atlantic. Atlanta's location made it a gateway of sorts between the Atlantic Ocean and regions to the west. It later became a point of convergence with other railroads, which led to rapid growth. Atlanta continues to be a major hub of transportation today, which has helped it grow to become the largest metro in the southeast. Now, some of you may be thinking, hey, city geek, how can you say that when Atlanta is only the 38th largest city in the country and with a population of 500,000 is smaller than Jacksonville? And to that, I'd say this is a great example of why it's important to look at a city's metro population, because when you do that, Atlanta is massive. With over 6 million people living in its metro, Atlanta anchors the ninth largest metro in the country and is nearly four times the size of Jacksonville's metro. It's also the largest capital city in the country. Atlanta also has one of the largest economies in the country, coming in at 10th for GDP behind Philly. To talk more about Atlanta's economy is Kyle from the Geography King channel. He is more familiar with Atlanta than I am and has offered to share his thoughts on Atlanta's unique economy. Hey Geek, thanks for having me on. One of the best things about Atlanta is that it might be the most highly diversified economy in the entire country. The four largest companies headquartered in the city are UPS, Home Depot, Coca-Cola, and Delta Airlines. And these are four completely different segments of the economy, but it's also a major center for the media, cable companies, CNN, The Weather Channel, TBS, TNT, and Cartoon Network are there, as well as a lot of other TV and movie studios but it's also the state capital for Georgia, and as a result, all the state government facilities are located in the city, and Atlanta is the southeast regional headquarters for most of the federal government-type facilities, including the Centers of Disease Control, but it's also a major college town, with Georgia Tech being one of the premier engineering universities in the country, a lot of high-tech research labs associated with it, and Emory University is there, one of the premier medical schools in the entire country. So very diversified economy. Perhaps Atlanta is the most recession-proof city in the country. Thanks for sharing that, Kyle. Now, if you aren't already familiar with the Geography King channel, I definitely recommend checking it out. Now, you can call me shallow, but when it comes to cities, I think appearances matter, which is why evaluating a city's skyline is my favorite part of making these videos. Atlanta has a truly impressive skyline with several tall and aesthetically pleasing skyscrapers. If you took the average height of its tallest five skyscrapers, it'd be the seventh tallest skyline in the country, behind San Francisco and ahead of Dallas. All of this is great, however, my one knock on the skyline is that it's too spread out. Rather than having one concentrated skyline, it basically has three clusters of buildings, with the tallest building in the city sitting between the skylines of downtown and midtown. This prevents the skyline from being as visually impressive as skylines of smaller cities such as Minneapolis, Pittsburgh, and Seattle. The tallest building in the city is the Bank of America Plaza at 1,023 feet. I'll now touch on a few things to me that make Atlanta unique. There are several cities in the country that claim the nickname of City of Trees. However, Atlanta is the most deserving of that nickname. Atlanta has trees everywhere and is ranked number one in the country for its percentage of urban tree canopy. Atlanta is home to the busiest airport in the country and the second busiest in the whole world. Over 300,000 passengers go through the airport in a single day. It's such a busy airport due to Atlanta's location and because it's the home of Delta Airlines. Atlanta is only one of three U.S. cities to host the Summer Olympics, which it did in 1996. In the downtown, there is the Centennial Olympic Park, which includes various Olympic monuments, the Fountain of Rings, and even a 200-foot-tall Ferris wheel. 
As Kyle mentioned, Atlanta is home to Coca-Cola, and across the street from the Olympic Park is the World of Coca-Cola Museum. The large 92,000 square foot museum showcases the history of the Coca-Cola company. Next door is the Georgia Aquarium. It seems like every major city has its own aquarium, but I wanted to highlight Atlanta's because it's the largest in the country. The largest exhibit within the aquarium holds 6.3 million gallons of water and even has a whale shark swimming in it. Adjacent to the aquarium is the National Center for Civil and Human Rights. Atlanta is the birthplace of Dr. Martin Luther King and the city played an important role in the civil rights movement. Near the downtown is the Martin Luther King Jr. National Historic Park, which includes his birth home, the church he was baptized in, as well as his gravesite. I'm a huge football fan, so I have to also mention that the Chick-fil-A College Football Hall of Fame is located in the Atlanta downtown. The Hall of Fame includes exhibits around the game as well as a 45-yard indoor field. And speaking of indoor football fields, Atlanta has one of my favorite sports arenas, the Mercedes-Benz Stadium. This new stadium costs $1.6 billion to build. Its defining feature is the retractable pinwheel roof made of eight different pieces. The most visited site in all of Georgia is Stone Mountain Park, which lies just outside of the city. The massive stone in the park is the largest piece of exposed granite in the world and covers 583 acres. On the face of the stone is the largest bas relief sculpture in the world depicting three Confederate leaders. And while on the topic of the Civil War, I'll end by pointing out that Atlanta is the only city in North America to be burned down in an act of war. The Union General Sherman burned down nearly 3,000 buildings in Atlanta, only leaving 400 still standing. Atlanta has adopted the mythical phoenix as its symbol because of how the city was rebuilt from the ashes, which, given how amazing of a city it is today, is pretty incredible. Well, that wraps up my video about Atlanta. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like and check out some of my other videos about cities. Thanks for watching.